In this video, we're going to talk about our active ingredient called biofungicide. Biofungicide is a natural bacterium that helps suppress root disease that's pre-mixed into our professional pro-mix growing media. It's available in almost all of our formulations. So the first question is, what is biofungicide? As I mentioned, biofungicide is a natural bacterium that was extracted from the soil. It's not a genetically modified organism and the specific name of it is Bacillus subtilis MBI 600. When we incorporate the biofungicide, we actually have a guarantee of having 10,000 viable spores per gram of growing media. Biofungicide will colonize and form symbiosis with all plants, including flowering plants, vegetables, herbs, uh, perennials, trees, and shrubs. So essentially how the biofungicide works, there's basically two modes of action. The first one is the actual bacteria will grow on the root tip, forming a physical barrier that makes it difficult for pathogens to actually penetrate the root. Second, it forms an antibiotic which suppresses the damping off and root rot and crown rot diseases caused by fungal organisms Alternaria, Fusarium, Pythium, and Rhizoctonia. Keep in mind that the biofungicide helps suppress root disease, but it doesn't do anything to help control foliar diseases or as well as algae growth in the growing media. So as far as colonization, essentially if we take a look at a root system, as the roots of the plant grow throughout the growing media, the bacteria that's in close proximity will actually, the spore will actually germinate, and spores to bacteria are the same as basically seeds to plants, are kind of a resting stage. So the bacteria will actually grow on the root system of the actual plant itself. And in that growth, it takes about 48 hours for colonization to occur. So what are the benefits of the biofungicide? Well, number one, if we see a reduction of root disease, there's less need for fungicide drenches to control them. We recommend cutting your drenches down by about 50%. Again, this is drenches for root disease. Some growers, if their cultural practices are good, they've even been able to totally eliminate fungicide drenches altogether. Now, as we know, fungicides cost money, and we find that if you can save on a fungicide drench, it'll more than pay for the addition of the biofungicide added to the ProMix product. And keep in mind that adding uh, any kind of fungicide takes time and money and effort, so it'll help save you on time. So bottom line, by having the biofungicide incorporated into the growing media, it serves as kind of a peace of mind knowing that you have something in there to help combat root disease. So basically, if you have a better plant, as you can imagine, having a better plant means you have less loss, as we mentioned, also you have better performance as the plants are taken from either the greenhouse environment and transplant up in the grow bags in the greenhouse, or taken outside into the soil environment where the biofungicide can continue to, sh to show disease suppression. Now when you actually receive the product in storage, we do recommend storing the product below 120 degrees Fahrenheit or 49 degrees Celsius. Again, heat can, can reduce the viability of the product. It's okay if the product freezes, that's not a problem. But as we've mentioned in other videos, it's a good idea to use the product up within nine to 12 months if it's a peat-based product or six months for a bark-based media. And the reason for that is you get the loss and breakdown of the wetting agent as well as the starter fertilizer charge. As far as product use, again, you can use it the same as any other ProMix product. The only thing is you just simply have to reduce the number of fungicide drenches to see the benefits. Thank you.